Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Potato and I haven't said that in a while, but in today's GTA Retro video, we're going to be answering the question of whether or not Tommy Versetti is dead or alive after the events of GTA Vice City. So, if you guys are excited for this video, definitely do me a favor by leaving a like rating down below. If we could go for 500 likes, that would be awesome. As well as don't forget to subscribe for some more daily video game content on my channel. As well as, I'd like to encourage you guys to follow me on Twitter. I don't do that that often, but my Twitter link is the first one in the description. If you guys could click that and follow me, that would mean the world to me. On Twitter, you guys can be involved in exclusive giveaways. Talk to me about ideas that you have and different things like that. So be sure to do that, but with that said now the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So, a question that I get a lot on the channel or a question that I get asked is, Tommy Versetti dead? Or is he alive? And hopefully I'm going to answer that to the best of my abilities abilities today. So basically, during the events, or at the beginning of GTA Vice City, of course Tommy Versetti is the protagonist of that game. He's just been released early from prison, which he went into in 1971, I believe, for multiple counts of murder. He probably had a life sentence, but due to his ties and his connections with the Ferrelli family, Tommy is released 15 or just a whole lifetime early basically he's only been in prison 15 years and he's at the bottom of the totem pole he's relocated to uh, Vice City because he is too big of a risk in Liberty City I believe it was so he's in Vice City he's at the bottom of the totem pole and throughout the game and at the end of the game he ends up becoming the head honcho in Vice City he wipes out the Ferrelli family that kind of got him where he was and he's just the head honcho. He owns the city pretty much with his gang. Now, that's all we hear from Tommy Versetti up until San Andreas. And take, into, uh, or take notice of the date that Vice City takes place in. That's 1986. And San Andreas takes place in 1992. Now, at the beginning of Vice City, we're going to backtrack again for a moment. Tommy Versetti is friends with a, I guess you could say a corrupt lawyer. If you guys have ever seen Breaking Bad, he's friends with kind of the Saul Goodman. Not, not as good. But the Saul Goodman of GTA, and this man's name is Ken Rosenberg. He's a lawyer, Tommy's friends with him, and in the introduction disc or DVD for San Andreas, we see Ken Rosenberg in here, and he's trying to actually make a call to Tommy Versetti. And he's been actually sent to San Andreas to go to rehab due to his cocaine addiction and his just really bad addiction to drugs overall. And he's out of rehab, and he's seen at a payphone trying to make a call to Tommy Versetti. We can't hear the voice on the other side, but what's going on is we can imply that due to Ken Rosenberg's dialogue, he answer, he calls, he says, hey, I'm looking to talk to Tommy Versetti. We can only guess that this is maybe Tommy's receptionist, and he's saying that, or she's saying that, Tommy's not available, Tommy doesn't want to talk to him, etc. Ken Rosenberg goes on to say that he made Tommy into what he is today because Ken Rosenberg hooked Tommy up with all these guys and these bigger names to kind of actually get him where he was. And Ken Rosenberg, in a fit of rage, just throws the phone down and walks away. And we don't hear Tommy's voice in, Vi or in San Andreas, but of course he is mentioned. Now, in one of the final missions for San Andreas, there is a mission called The Meat Business. And CJ goes into this meat house or this slaughterhouse and inside a freezer is Ken Rosenberg. He's trapped. And when CJ actually releases Ken Rosenberg or opens the door to let him out of this freezer, Ken Rosenberg goes on to say, this is so exciting, Tommy. It's like old times. As if he's talking to an imaginary friend. He's not really the delusional type character, but maybe the drugs kind of messed up his brain a little bit. But they're in this shootout and he mentions Tommy once again so that's the only reference we have of Tommy and San Andreas the the two that I mentioned before and that could only lead us to believe that Tommy is alive and he's still in power in 1992 just a few years after the events of Vice City now the last ever reference that we actually have to Tommy Versetti is on a website a secret website actually made by Rockstar and there's a lot of these and there's only been 28 viewers on it since it's been created and there's no telling how old it is I think it's from 2002 but it's actually set in or, or for October 1st 2002 in game time so this is still with the whole uh, GTA Vice City timeline that's going along with that and on this website it's actually developed by a man named Kent Paul who is a, a side character in GTA Vice City as well as GTA San Andreas. He's either an Australian or a British dude. I think he's Australian, but he's up there. He's friends with Tommy. He's friends with Ken, CJ, 
Mad Dog, OG Loke, and all these just big names in the GTA series. And on this website somewhere, there is a comment from him stating that Tommy is alive and he's still in power. So, in 1951, that would mean that he would be... I think 51 years old. You guys can do the math there. I may be a little bit off, but somewhere around there. And up until this point, this is the last reference that we've ever gotten to Tommy Versetti in the GTA series, aside from an Easter egg in GTA 4, where on a wall, graffitied is all the names of the past GTA protagonist, and it says, R.I.P. Tommy, you are my hero, R.I.P. C.J. Claude, etc. And Rockstar has actually come out on an AMA and said that this is just a joke to uh, or for the fans of the series. So, nothing too special. That means nothing. The last time we've ever gotten any sort of insight on Tommy Versetti was in 2002 and now in the year 2015, the year that we're in, Tommy Versetti would be around 64 years old. So, maybe he's still in power, maybe he's had health issues, had to step down, or maybe he's died. Who knows exactly what's gone on with this. You guys have to l let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. Do you think Tommy Versetti is alive, or do you think Tommy Versetti is dead? I'd say he's presumably alive due to the fact that 64 isn't really an old age or too old yet. And the last time that we ever heard from Tommy Versetti, he was still in power. So I don't foresee anything like that changing. Maybe we're going to get GTA 6 in the next few years and it's going to take place in Vice City. And we're going to find out maybe what happened to Tommy. But until then, we only have to wait and we have to wait and to see what time will tell. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for some more daily video game content. And with all that said now the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys, I'll take it easy. Have a safe one, and I will see you all in the next video.